What's up guys? Oh, sorry, camera's here. What's up guys? Jonah here, and it's been a long time since I've made a video on this channel. Um, I originally took a break from making videos because of trying to prepare for midterms for school, but the break kind of ended up lasting the entire quarter. Okay, I think we are done. Uh, unless you have any questions. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. After the midterm, uh, my senior project actually started to really pick up and getting really busy because my team had to really push uh, to try to make a solid uh, physical prototype and actually finished that physical prototype the morning of the presentation. So the presentation was like at 9 a.m. and I finished getting it together um, at 6 a.m. and that includes like trying to document it, taking pictures and video. So yeah, we were really close on deadlines and stuff. And that was just last week. Looks like we're waiting for the video there. Okay. Since then, it was finals week, and as of today, I've finished my last finals of undergrad. Yeah, gonna graduate, uh, class of 2020. <laughs> on Sunday, but today, we're really here to make a video of an unboxing because we're gonna pick up where I left off. So if you don't remember, I was actually going to go ahead and try to get this car up and running uh, so I can make videos, drift videos during the quarantine since a lot of the tracks were closed because, you know, it's social distancing and stuff like that, very important. But I wasn't actually able to get it running because it was missing some parts. So specifically, it was missing the motor cam or something and the steering servo horn. So yeah, since I've made that video, I've had one of the local drifters here, uh, Nick. You've probably seen him in a bunch of my videos, his car. Um, he offered to send me some of his old parts for the drift package. So that's what I have right here. Um, I've actually had this for a while because it was sent when school started really picking up for me. So I haven't really opened it or touched it yet. And it says ship date April 15th of 2020 and today's like June 11th so almost two months I haven't opened this yet so yeah let's see what's inside but before that big thanks to Nick for sending me these parts I really appreciate it if you guys want to check out his Instagram I'll put his username right here somewhere and I'll also put it in the links down below so go ahead and check it out um, Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that's pretty cool because I've never actually had a Yokomo box. Um, I've always bought my Yokomo cars used, so I've never actually got in a box. I just get the car itself to actually have one now. That's pretty cool. You can see... I'm not sure if you can actually see that. Um, but yes, the outlines of the chassis are here. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. This is a drive shaft. So the length does match up. Um, well, these are pretty new parts. It seems like there's a battery holder in here, but it is a bit shorter than the one that I have on this car. And that looks like a body clip holder. Miscellaneous parts in here that are pretty interesting. There's a lot more parts. The first thing that sticks out to me right now is these aluminum parts. So these are um, upgraded aluminum shock towers. You can see here 
This is the rear one, and I believe this is the front one. I'm not sure what this part is here exactly, but I guess I'll find that out later. And these look like to be arms, I guess? I'm not really sure. Um, these parts right here, if the camera's showing it. I think these are arms for like wider steering angle. I think, I'm not sure yet. These seem to be rear uh, suspension arms because, yeah, they don't turn. And actually, these are upgraded rear hubs, aluminum ones. Yeah, it says right there, D-like. So these are definitely upgraded rear hubs. That's pretty cool. Um, they fit in very well with the, the plastic ones. So like judging from just like the outside on the plastic bag, they would look like regular ones, but Wow, uh, that was unexpected. That's a lot of stuff so far. Going on to the next bag, it looks like there's more rear suspension arms right here and more rear hubs. Um, these ones are definitely, I think the stock ones because they're still on the parts tree. I think these are for the steering linkage. If the camera will focus. Uh, it probably won't. Maybe I'll move it down there and then just zoom in and post. Yeah, these are steering linkages, plastic ones, stock. Um, what else? Ooh, okay. More steering stuff? Lots of steering stuff here. The rear suspension arm, I think. Like I said earlier. Hubs. Steering. The front hubs, steering hubs, stuff like that. Yeah, same, more arms and more rear hubs that are stock ones. Definitely have a lot of parts to play with here, so if I break anything, definitely have parts to replace it with. Moving on to the next big bag, um, right away I can see that the part I needed uh, for the car that was missing is actually here so it's this part right here um the camera will focus i guess i think it's focused but so this is this whole gray part right here is what's on the car right now here but as you can see it is missing this internal like motor cam that's what the part is called i think so this is actually what's used to actually mount the motor onto this mount. So yeah, I'll be able to mount the motor finally. Get some power going to the wheels. That's good. I can also see that there is the steering servo horn, which is also what I basically needed because that car was missing it for whatever reason. So yeah, I definitely have the ability to get the car running now, um, but that'll probably be another time for another video. More aluminum stuff in there. Let's see. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it's blue and shiny. shiny. We'll find out what that is for later. And there seems to be a lot more uh, steering servo horn related stuff in this bag. So if anything, this car is definitely gonna be ready to run and I'll definitely be able to do that in another video. Here's more steering horn servo stuff related, I think. So yeah. Now, in the next layer, we have a whole chassis. This one is in a lot better shape than the one that I have right now on there. So on the one that I have right now, um, it's very scratched and beat up. You can see that there's all these gashes in there. The camera ended up overheating. Uh, I don't blame it. It's pretty hot right now in California. I'll just continue shooting the video with my iPhone for now. Uh, I'll probably finish the video with this. So here's the new chassis that I was sent by Nick. It's in very good condition in comparison to the one that's on the car right now. Um, I'll probably just keep this as a spare in case I somehow break that one because 
I don't really just want to put it on the car and then end up scratching it a lot anyways, so probably still just keep that one on for now. Another bumper. Hmm, this looks like shocks, shock parts. You can see the springs are in there, and I think shock caps are in there. Um, yeah. So definitely have some more shock stuff to play with in case I end up breaking that somehow. So, what else is here? What's this? I'm not sure. It has an adhesive on the back, so definitely used for attaching something. Hmm. I'll find out later on. But yeah, that's pretty much all the parts that I got in this unboxing. And it's definitely a lot of parts. Like, I'm pretty surprised with the amount of parts I got. I'm very happy that I got the parts I needed to get this car running. So that'll definitely be in another video. So that basically concludes today's video. Um, again, I'd like to give a big shout out to Nick for donating all these parts because now I can get this car running and I'm kind of excited to finally get it running after having this car sit for so long. But yeah, um, I have to release some other content first before I release content on this car because I did shoot some videos the past few weeks, I just never got to editing them. So keep an eye out for those videos and videos on this car when it comes. So yeah, thanks for watching today's video guys and I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, be safe out there and catch you guys next time.